All right, here at the backcountry kiosk, I'm getting ready to do the longer uh, standing Indian loop. Right there's the Long Branch Trail. I'll be coming down that with any luck tomorrow. It's going to be a tough hike because uh, I'll be pulling a 10 miler today and probably a 12 tomorrow, which it's going to be a bit. <laughs> Your chainsaw running. Had some storms last night uh, come through. They're pretty bad. And there you are. If you've watched my other video where I did the Kimsey Creek Trail, um, you recall this dumps into Standing Indian Campground. And uh, the trail's going to tuck back in and follow the river but uh, I'm not gonna do that I've already done that and it kind of lengthens it a little bit you know winding around I'm just gonna take the road to the back of the campground and pick up the trail back there make it a little easier Very cool morning, but I'm already getting hot. That's why I didn't put a jacket on. It's about 50, but uh, I knew I'd be getting hot real quick. So this starts it long meandering climb to uh, stand in Indian Mountain. More creek crossing. When you're coming up on that rock right there from a distance because it's so white marked like that it's a uh, kind of looks like a human made structure <laughs> so you're wondering what in the world just a rock kind of little flower ready to come out um wind is kicking up a good bit up on the tops uh wind was blowing quite a bit when i got out of the tr truck but it's died down quite a bit but i guess what i'm hearing there is probably up on the summits starting to get into some of the burn area here i saw a little bit of it I'm gonna drive in too. Probably gonna see a lot more as we leave Standing Indian and make our way around to Carter Gap. As you can see, for the most part, it's burned off undergrowth. Most of the trees are gonna be fine. I'm gonna break. I don't know how much of this is going here. Wind's kicking up up here. It's a place where I took a break before make our way up check the time here in a minute see what kind of time I'm making breeze is uh chilly it's not as bad right now because I'm in the Sun so that's helping a lot but, uh, you can hear it I'm sure the trees are swaying well there's some kind of scat I don't know what kind maybe bear It looked like it was steaming. <laughs> That's some more of that leathery looking material or vegetation, obviously. I saw up here before on the other side of Deep Gap. So we're uh, making our way. This is almost like scree. You can see a lot of burn here. Um, lots of rocks in this area. Trying to get up and over some of this stuff. Here is a more dramatic burn area. 
course I'm sure this tree was already down. It's just taking advantage of it being there. You can see up the hillside there. Most of the trees look pretty good. I mean there are some dead trees up here, but they're probably dead anyway. I don't know. But uh yeah. Up up up. Well, we made it. AT goes that way and that way. We just came from that way. Lower Ridge Trail. Come on, go up to the summit. Take a break. I still got six miles to go before I sleep. scorched it was from the fire the rest of the uh, mountains there to the west look pretty good this is where I saw the fire distance when I was up here before I don't even know how much of this you can hear you can see here where it came up the hill right here to the summit the standing in Indian mountain scorched all of this but uh ooh, excuse me clearly somebody came up and maybe planted these I don't know maybe they're wild I don't know but uh they're taking a beating from the wind today it's out of the blue the wind comes and goes it's nice and quiet right now but comes over this mountain kicks up my ears got real cold I had to put this on had to dig for it really tough climb I told myself I wasn't gonna do that climb I did it anyway um, but everything from here on is new on the AT for me so we'll see love the view yeah getting some muck here Got a spring coming right onto the trail. All the traffic coming through here too. Doesn't make matters any easier. You can see people are trying to take the high road here to avoid it, which is really not good as I just found out. It's very slippery, <laughs> and there it goes down the hill. It almost looks like it hasn't been going all that long, but I don't know. Big storms last night that probably probably did it. It's probably running out from gathering water off that hillside up there. So so far coming off of the summit at Standing Indian, it's been a laurel tunnel. Uh, it kind of started off with some rhododendrons, now it's laurels. It's almost been a constant tunnel. Uh, you can see some char here. Hopefully, uh, with the green that's still on these trees, that's a sign that they're going to bounce back pretty easily from this. I don't know. Some of this is taking some pretty good damage, you can see. But they're staying green at the top, so we'll see. It's a ridge. Uh, and from what I could see from the trail map, it's a relatively straight shot along this ridge for a while. Uh, at some point, of course, we'll start descending a little bit, but we'll see. So this is an interesting little break in the laurels. We got a couple of pines here, a handful of them, just kind of kind of sitting here they make a very distinct sound when the wind rushes through those needles so you hear this kind of a swishy sound you're coming down it just opens up right here for some reason it's very rocky 
And back into the laurels we go and some rhododendron too. Continue to walk through uh, this vegetation here. Most of this has been burnt and most of this is not has not got any green on it. Some of those laurels down there do. A little bit more bare through here. We're still on this ridge, so we still got a lot of wind. I'm gonna try to get off this ridge. Hopefully soon it take us down a little bit away from the wind. We take another break. I didn't take much of a break back there. Uh, I really need to take a longer one for my back and my shoulders. Slowly making our way down off of this ridge, um, past a spring back there, running into the trail, uh, running pretty good. So uh, plenty of water, I think, due to the probably not just the rains last night, but you know, been off and on some showers moved through, I guess, uh, enough to keep the water moving. But I'm sure last night probably has something to do with it, because some pretty big storms that came through we've come through laurels come through rhododendrons come through mixtures really long tunnel back there probably the longest I've walked on yet on the AT except for maybe coming off of blood uh, well, we know we're gonna have to hook around back that way I don't know if that's gonna be one of our summits but if I had to guess I would say yes if there's a summit, we're probably going over it. Moving on. So we just rounded this bend here, and now we're coming down the opposite side or down the hill from the ridge we were on, I guess. Still got some fresh blazes. And we're going to make another hook, because clearly that's the trail, so we're doing some switchbacks here. Which means we're making our way down. Making our way down. So you come out of the thickets behind me and you got this. <laughs> Clearly the fire took a lot of undergrowth out of here. Spring coming down. Got a dog up ahead of us somewhere. He's barking. And that's why I barked back at him. <laughs> He'd be like, who is that? How do, do I know that guy? So it came from that way. We're at Beach Gap. And uh, the blue blaze there goes down to a water hole. And the trail continues that way. You wouldn't know it. The white blaze isn't until you get around the corner. It's real easy when you're um, hiking to do the wrong thing and since I'd been hiking blue blazes earlier this morning to get to the AT I saw these blue blazes and just my mind just wanted to go this way and I said well I'm gonna take a break first and I got to thinking of course I'm on white blaze I do not need to be on a blue blaze so I've only seen two hikers all day that guy with his dog who didn't speak and the girl at the summit who did so we'll see what it's like when we get to Carver Gap shelter I'm expecting people there but Clearly the bubbles moved on. They're just onesie twosies making their way. And I'm surprised nobody's come upon me yet. Well, I'll say, <laughs> storming last night. Some people may have went, went into town. Maybe they went to, got to Deep Gap and tried to get a shuttle into Franklin or something. I don't know. I don't know. Get packed up, get moving. Well, clearly. There's a stream flowing down there. Judging by the sound, a whole lot of cascading going on. We ain't faking. Whole lot of cascading going on down there. I don't know if the trail's gonna take us down there or not. I would hope so. I always want your trail to go where your features are. Well, here's the source of our creek. Got some pools pulling up here. We're gonna have to dance across here. It must drop pretty significantly because it was roaring pretty good on down the hill. We gotta make our way across. Pretty. Oh, 
some of the prettier streams we've come across. It's just pretty cool. I almost had to like shave a spot for that blaze. That tree needs to shave. <laughs> All right, back into the rhododendrons. And... All right. Timber Ridge Trail. That way. We keep going this way. We got four tenths of a mile. So just shy of a half a mile to the shelter. I'm more out, so. I but ain't five tenths. <laughs> well, judging by all the tents and the smoke, we're either at the shelter or at the camp before the shelter. And we had a camp before the shelter. There's a platform down yonder. Maybe this is the shelter. I do not know. And I find out a lot of people drying out here today. Here we are. Shelter. See if I can find a place to camp. So that's the old shelter. New shelter's up here. Lots of folks camping there at the old one, though. You got a nice fire going. Seem like nice fellows. I'm gonna check out the new one. <laughs> that would be the real show. Well, after lots of shopping all through here, I think I've settled on this guy, which I believe is only half alive, but he seems solid. And this guy, and there doesn't seem to be any any dead uh, trees around overhead, except for this guy. But I think he's going to be, I think he's going to be fine. Well, I'll find out. <laughs> I do have one dead limb right there. It wants to come down. I may try to get him out of there. Anyway. I'll set my hammock right here. All right, step one was to get this uh, hanging right. I still may have to bring it up a little bit. This is about the angle you want, and I want the foot end just a little bit higher this time. To give me a better lay, so I may still have some adjusting yet. This is getting close, though. Yep. More to come. So here's the... Here's the finished product on the outside. I don't have the far end one tied because I didn't want to tie off to that tree, but it's kludgy enough as it is. Um, I'm tied out back here. Got these tied to some trees. There is a, a, a band that you can get for these. I'm just waiting to get them. It will do a lot better than this. But yeah, it's not perfect. In fact, I gotta, I gotta bring uh, this over a little bit right here. This purse it needs to be slid up and that's a little better. Just trying to get the ridge line down the center now. I've got my pack hanging right there, which is why that's pulled down like it is. But you get an idea of what it's like. Inside inside I got my under quilt here suspended gathered up under here on the back side so we're gonna see how that does it keeping me warm I only got a 45 degree bag so I've already got uh, dinner done water's been collected I've got two bottles and I've got an extra bag there to filter in the morning if I need it bags are hung up in that tree it's gonna be hard to see with the Sun in your eyes but in the lens me and a guy in that green tent over here hung ours together, but yeah, this is why I'm stretched out at the moment. Just about packed up this morning. I didn't do a lot of shooting last night, a lot of people. Uh, it got real cold. It was nice when I went to bed, but the wind just... I had the tarp a little too high off the ground. The wind was able to get underneath it, and it just was a constant got under the uh, top uh, bottom under quilt a few times too but overall the under quilt was a was a win uh, 
very warm, especially early when the wind was when it was still really warm in that thing. Now I need a top quilt or something. That 45 degree bag started breaking down in short order. So anyway, 12 miles today. Not looking forward to that. But gonna get packed up. Haven't decided if I'm making coffee. I know, right? Yeah, I gotta make coffee. But uh, gotta hit the road. Long day today. Very long. Yesterday was tough at 10, roughly 10 miles, 10 and a half. Tomorrow's gonna be. Or today's gonna be tough because gotta go up Mount Albert, which is gonna be really, really steep. So, yeah, yeah I got to try it. <laughs> I don't want to spend another night out in this wind. That's off to through hikers, man. There's some tough dudes and chicks. Take chicks right over yonder. They tough as nails, man. <laughs> All right, let's get rolling. All right, heading out this morning. Got a train going. A lot of people at camp last night. And uh, nice climb to start the day. Sun's up. Sun's out, guns out. No, guns aren't out. We're almost at our first summit. You can see way back how high some of those peaks are. Got some of their own uh, weather going on too. Not sure if the video is gonna focus out there, but. That can get in the neighborhood. Uh, Zach and they got maybe a stat up there with him. Making our way on ridge. A lot of ridge walking coming out of the gap down there where we were camped. And this tree just decided to grow all around that rock. Yeah. All right, we're coming through an area that didn't get a whole lot of burn. So we got some good vegetation. Laurels are nice and green and down low. And uh, rhododendrons rather, and the laurels. Rhododendrons going down low. The laurels doing okay. You can still see some. Looks like heat got to them, but. And I believe Mooney Gap's gonna be the D mark for, uh, for this particular fire. So I think the trail was closed all the way to that point and we're getting pretty close here for too long. So. Here we are at Betty Creek Gap. Yeah, Betty Creek Gap Trail. All right, we've been sitting here taking a break. I don't know all these people's names, but I know that's Uncle Ben. Remember the right. I know that's Zach. That's right. He's long grain. That's Christian. Christian? Yeah. He's already had to cut his britches. Don't ask. <laughs> Zach? Eddie. Eddie? Josh? Josh? Andy? Andy? Caleb? Caleb? And Dennis. Dennis. There you are. On our way. Had to get out of our base layers because it got hot quick but we got to go up Albert so it's probably gonna get hotter we're making our way down I believe to Mooney Gap that ridge over there I believe is the rock face that we were looking at earlier and the trail didn't go over there of course it could still <laughs> never know what the trail's gonna do we got back into some burn we've been in and out of burn area for the last couple hours uh, I think Mooney Gap is gonna be the D mark on that but we'll see so it's warm enough. We've all gone through at least a bottle, so we're all gassing up with some water real quick. <coughs> Before we head up Albert. It's gonna be steep. Well, we made it to Mooney. I 
So we should be coming out of here and going up to Mount Albert. Yay! I think there's a road up here, if I'm not mistaken. This is the top, right? <laughs> yeah. Who you got? Which way are we doing? All right, guys. Let's uh, we can to the top of the mountain. They're contemplating the bypass. Yeah, something just took off flying. May have been a turkey. Got a tree growing right out of this rock, and we're starting, starting the heavy ascent here. I think. Yeah, something just let out a, tr a tree up yonder. He's upset. He's like, you know, I come up here to be alone, and then you people come. So this is our view that looks like our forest road but right through there you can see a rock face you guys sliding buddy you're gonna be sliding a while we're right up on top of a cliff here yeah penalty for failure is expensive right. sitting here taking a minute most of this ascent so far has been bench cut but some of it's real steep side slope. So the road's right here. Presumably that's the road that goes up to the, to the top. According to back there, we're still a half a mile. We thought we were two tenths of a mile, but we're not. So all the stories about it getting really steep toward the end are probably true. We were hoping that was the steep part. And it wasn't. <laughs> right there above the trees. This reminds me of when I was in Colorado and was going up Bergen Peak for the first time. My buddy Jason, we stopped for a break and he said, oh, you see that peak up there? We're like, yeah, that's where we're going. We thought we were there. All right, skirting the road again. Up there's our tower. We just took a break. I get you wrap your head around the fact that you're fitting to climb up there. I think it's gonna be real steep. One of these guys has descended it before. He ain't saying much. Hey, man, you don't wanna know. You just don't wanna know. So far, this climb is no joke. I'm about level. And that's where we're going. Well, Caleb, who has done this before, at least down, Huh? has advised us to put our treks, trekking poles in our packs, which is what we just did. Nothing that you've done to this point prepares you for this. Mount Albert is by far the worst climb over here. Somebody left some trail magic for us. First soda in a long time. Where's your overlook? Raven Bald, I was right. Hey, it's nice to be right. <laughs> well, I hiked up. And then leave the top of Mount Albert. I left some trail magic for it. Had a soda pop and a snacker bar. Keep rolling. At least we're going down now. 100 mile mark. So for my section hikes, this is my 100 mile mark for the AT. Felt pretty good. Actually, I'm wore out. That's only just from the last mile and a half. I'm into some kind of gap. Must be some other folks up here. No camping. Well, we don't know. Pinnacle Trail. What, we're thinking about doing, what is this? This is uh, what does it say? a bit, oh, water source big spring here, gap. Yeah. Between here and um, Long Branch. Long Branch. No if water. we wanted to camp somewhere past this, we might want to go ahead and fill up with water now. Stopped and they watered up because they're going to camp tonight. I'm going to try to make it onto the car. Hit a lot of these 
rhododendrons and laurel, laurel tunnels. The uh, one coming off the mountain, it just went on and on. Probably the longest one I've been in. Went along a ridge top too to through some of that. So, all right. So we left the crew back there. They're gonna. They didn't want to camp down at the shelter because uh, they figured there'd be a lot of people coming in there. They're gonna camp back here. We're about a mile, nine tenths of a mile from the shelter, and uh, I'm gonna keep going because I'm only I'm less than two miles from my turn off, and then I'm two and a half miles from the car. So. I am sore, very tired, but I'm going to try to do it. I may stop and cook dinner at the shelter. We'll see. But uh, I'm going to keep rolling. Feet are sore, but I'd really like to get to the car tonight. Well, we traded out our rhododendrons for some laurels. Real nice and shady under here. Lots of laurels. Kind of big, too. Towering up over me. And just like that, they break up. <laughs> and you're back out in some open forest. There's a flip-flopper. How's, How's it going, man? There's our shelter. shelter. Yep, shelter's that way? Yeah. Shelter's that way. I'll take a break, get back at it. And here's our shelter. I'm leaving all these guys here. I'm, I film my section hikes. Leaving What's these. Up? <laughs> these guys are real happy. I'll explain. I'll explain in a footnote. I, I left them some extra food that I had, and they seemed appreciative. And... All right, just filter some water. There's a nice little spout coming out from the spring there. Just got a, another bottle and a half. Only got about three miles to go, so. Water. Shelter's right down there. Like I said, I left those guys some of my extra food. Judging by the bag of weed they had, they're gonna need it. Apparently somebody left them some trail magic in the form of one of the largest bags of weed I've ever seen. So, uh, there you are. As Soon as you leave the shelter turn off, you come to this. Essentially a stream that this comes right out and you have to go down it you got to find some things to step on this is no doubt the same stream that becomes the water source right down there and yeah, quite a bit this thing was much taller you'd get your feet wet I thought about staying there I'm just hiking out in the morning, but I got too much daylight right now to not use it. I'm very sore from the hiking, but I really want to get back. It's kind of open. It's just kind of strange. We're getting real close to Glass Mine Gap. Should be close to the turnoff pretty soon, so. Yeah. You see way down yonder? Here's some talking ahead, so somebody's up there. Here we are, Glass Mine Gap. Long Branch Trail. So we just came down off that ridge. This trail doesn't get a lot of use. Probably not till later in the spring. Um, so there's a lot of uh, leaf, small limb litter and stuff like that on this trail. but. Uh, just follow your blazes. In fact, here's a here's a double track, so clearly some people can drive it. <laughs> there you are. I'm assuming we keep going this way. So. This may be that road from Hurricane Creek Loop. But we're moving on. So there's some logs across the trail there. For you to step on because the creek kind of runs down the trail very reminiscent of Kimsey Creek Trail 
where they do the same thing. Here, I just might get wet. See what we can do. Almost like a little scree field here. A little treacherous on the feet. And I see hardly hurt at all, so I'm glad that these are here. Feet are killing me. <laughs> They're hurting them. Not so much that I can't walk, but not that I don't really want to. They're sore. Well, I can see the road. We're not there yet, but we're at the road at least. So we shouldn't be too far from the kiosk. Uh, hopefully I'll see it when I drop out. Oh, looks like it might be right there. I can see cars. I don't see a red there, my red Jeep. All right. Hang on, ain't a little worried there. <laughs> Either my Jeep is gone or that's not the key house, but we're good. All right, Long Branch, two and a half miles up to the AT. I'll be back here again to continue. It's a backcountry kiosk. Take the trail into Standing Indian Campground or you take the road. I hope Andy and Josh make it down tomorrow with no issues. They're both nursing some leg issues up there. They'll head out with the gang tomorrow and come down here and make their way to Alabama I wish them well all the folks at the shelter it's a good loop 22 miles that's the most I've done in two days I think uh, it's a big loop so I highly recommend the standing if you really want to do a standing any in big loop you can just uh, go up Kimsey Creek and that adds a couple of miles because uh, you add the piece of going from Deep Gap up to us uh, Standing Indian Mountain, which is about two and a half miles. So. But I've done both 10 mile loop and then this loop. So I'll pick up the AT from Glass Mine Gap and continue on.